replace the hot start cable. Um, that's this one, this little lever up here on the handlebar. Uh, it's real easy to get this part off. You just pull these back and uh, get yourself some slack. You push it forward and then as you look from the underside and get a good clear shot of that, just take the slack and you just slip that down out of there. And then once you do that, it'll just pull out through the other side. And there's a slit on the front side where the cable goes in. I know that's not the best detail, but uh, that's the best this poor little flip camera can do in a close-up. Um, it runs down through here. If you want to take the seat off to do that, you just pull out the back two bolts on each side, lift up the back, slide it back, and that'll be off. You want to pull out the bolts on each side of the tank on the shroud. I like to pull the tank up out of the plastics because that way I don't have to mess with my radiator or radiator braces or anything. When you get down to this part, um, it goes into an elbow like this and then the elbow's got a little plastic screw in uh, portion here. The counterclockwise is real convenient on this because it's on the front of the carburetor. To get to that you just take either what I did is I use needle nose pliers and you stick them down on the carburetor. This is the part that it goes into, but you just kind of pry it back. You can use a screwdriver or whatever and just use it as a lever. You just put it in close up to the face of the carburetor and scroll it. Remember it's plastic, it's brittle, it's hollow, so be gentle. But you just engage these little teeth, you unscrew it out and the whole thing will pull out. Once you get it out, you got to use two hands to do it, but you Pull the spring back, and then with the spring pulled back, the let's see if I can get a good shot of it. With the spring pulled back, you can uh, get this little brass piece off, and then it'll pull up out of the elbow. When you buy the new one, it just looks like this. There's just a tiny little nub on the end of it. Let's get some slack off. But uh, yeah, I probably could have staged this a little better. My apologies. <laughs> but basically you just got this tiny little nub and you just uh, load the elbow over it You load the spring on it and then pull the spring back and with the spring pulled back then you put the little brass uh, piece on there little brass dedo so anyway that's how you do that now what does a heart, hot start do? it just changes the jetting in your carburetor it leans it out a lot um, so that you can start it so anyway, I hope that's helpful. This is a little project I was doing, so I thought I'd do a quick little video on it. Love you.